we're going to be working with the candles that are battery operated and we're going to kind of give them the Miriam Joy touch. I purposely didn't have a finished product for you today because I didn't want you to think, oh, I can't do that. I wanted you to look at the items that you probably already have in your house and know that you can create this. I found these battery operated candles in the dollar store this year. I purchased mine at Dollar Tree and I have seen them in other places so they are out there and they were two in a pack so that really is reasonable. And the first thing I did is I took them apart and that now you know why we're not using the electrical ones because we want to take it apart and I also took the the uh, little bulb out as well as the top part of it because you don't want to put wax on this and not be able to get in there to put your batteries in that's real important the hardest part of the whole project was getting the crazy tag off of the off of the candle that was kind of hard for me so I took that off I put a pair of gloves on latex gloves and I went out and I sprayed it with Krylon's new glitter blast and I love this stuff it does it looks exactly like it does on the lid it just really goes on I did put two coats on it don't worry about trying to get it the first time another thing that I found was easy too do I like to get all of this in let that dry and come back hold it here and get all of this in and so I tried both the red and the green and I really liked both of those products as well so uh, they were a lot of fun to work with I knew I had my other sample over here somewhere and we're going to take this now and we're going to add the wax drippings to it so with the lid still off we're going to come back in and use the gold now I prefer the sunburst color metallic over the gold I am going to stir this a little bit because it has been sitting. To me, it is more gold. And I am going to just do different layers from small to long. And we're kind of building our design. And then we're going to come back in and we're kind of fill it in, which is something I don't do with the wax technique much. So it's a little bit different than you're used to working with. Get a real long one there, a real short one here, and a medium, and a small one there. So we've kind of laid our workforce. Now we're going to come back in and we're going to fill these in. And anywhere where there's an open spot, we're going to bring that wax together. Now when warm wax is near warm wax, it is attracted to it. So you want to work kind of fast and we're kind of base coating in which is not anything we've done in the past. You want it to look like the wax is dripping and if you wanted to do just red that would be fine but I really like the gold color. I'll write that one a little bit lower there and bring that in. Bring another one up here. We're just filling in. some more. And that metallic is in the 16 colors of the box, the metallic crayon box. If you've never done the wax design, you can jump over to my YouTube site and see the basics of wax design. It'll teach you all those little secrets. Now we're going to do something I really never have you do. We're going to go back and we're just going to add some nice strokes on top just to kind of give it that wax look one more time just another layer so it looks more like melted wax nothing fancy but that look like we've melted our wax now we're going to come over to our little lid and we want him to match. We don't want him to look like he's a little white cap on top. And we're just going to kind of color him in. We don't want it real thick because we don't want that part to break off when we come in and use him. So 
I'm just going to do just like that. And then I also go on top as well so that the only part that is not done is the inside and I accidentally got a little bit on the inside part which I don't think will matter it's not down in the light part now I would varnish them separately at this time and get them all nice and coated and then I'm going to drop the battery in here maybe and there's a little separator, at least in this one. And we're going to see if we can get this turned on here to show you. And hopefully I have it going the right direction. I'm going to have to try the batteries again if we're not here. There we go, we did it. Yay! It's a little bit cockeyed, so I need to go back and put that in just a tab. But see, we've got that decorated, and my husband turned out the lights to show you a nice effect here. So now we're going to play with these a little bit more. Now, you can take them and leave them like that. You can do a red and a green set. You can do whatever color you want to do. But let's take them and decorate them up a little bit more. Um, one of the things that I thought was real cool is I picked up some glass candle holders at the dollar store and those came two in a pack. And just by simply adding some glass balls to it and a couple of little twigs and you could add some berries, you can glue these, hot glue these in, but whatever you want to do, and you've got your first little cute example, and you could set a couple of those on the table that would be really, really cute. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in, and I cut a piece off of my garland. And it doesn't have to be a new garland, it can be an old garland, you can buy it at the thrift store, whatever just kind of wash it up you could even probably put it under uh, warm water and rinse it now I pulled it going this direction so that we have this open space here and then I'm going to come over and this is a candle holder too and this is also from the dollar store and it's a pretty standard at most of your dollar stores this one did come from Dollar Tree and I am just simply going to wrap my garland around just like that and pull it out so you have these fun things and look how great that already looks you could even just leave it just like that if you want to but we're going to decorate this up a little bit fancier here I'm going to add some berries onto it first of all well, actually let's do a bow you could do berries if you didn't want to get real fancy, you could do your berries and your pine cones just by themselves if you're more of a nature person. But we're also, I really like to add a little bit more sparkle to it. And I'm going to put a little bit of a bow in it. Now remember I told you I always say your bows from your packages. This would be the perfect little package bow project. And if you don't know how to tie bows or don't have them pre-made, I do have a video on how to do bows that walks you through a little bit slower on just how to tie a bow. So we've got that guy done. And I guess I forgot to put scissors out. I'm going to cut that. scissors are going to magically appear on the table. Aren't these videos fun? I usually keep them here no matter what I'm doing, but sometimes I clear them off the table. Okay, so we're going to put this little guy onto... Now you could put him around the green 
jewelry. You can put him around the candle stand, whatever way you think he needs to go, and then kind of tuck his tails back in and cut those down. Now I think my bow needs to be a little bit smaller than I tied him. That just depends on what you want. Now I'm going to glue my pine cones in. Now if you didn't have the glitter blast, you could glitter these the same. Just roll them in some glue and glitter them. You could do that just as easy. So this is a very inexpensive project, which is our favorite kind. And then your pine cones you usually have around. And another thing you could use if you wanted it more festive, you could put a little guy like that in there, a pick like that, and even make that even that much brighter. Let's see if I can get him out of the way so you can kind of see how fun he is as well. And the glitter picks are really popular and they're at a lot of stores this year. You could put poinsettias in it, you could do all kinds of really fun things with that, but you could have a nice table setting for your Christmas meal or just for decoration in a matter of literally minutes it's taken us to make this. And you know you have a beautiful thing. I also thought it would be really cute to have you know the different candles setting on the different sides tapering down as well so that you have the three two in, instead or the, the two of them instead of just the one single candle it makes it uh, very decorative so thank you for joining me today I hope you had as much fun with this one as I did if you have any questions please email me at art at miriamjoy.com or for any of the wax products we have used today please visit my website at miriamjoy.com there's also a YouTube link to take you over to more of these fun YouTube videos as well as a Facebook link which we have a contest going on uh, Christmas 2012. We have the 25 days of Christmas and we're giving away prizes every day to make it fun for everyone and to give back a little bit to all of our wonderful customers. Thank you and God bless.